Drunk driving in a school zone doesn't end well. Yeah, you think? <laughs> Pull over! Pull over! Let that window down. What's going on? How many places do you have to pull over there? Sir? Do you not see? I, I wanted to get out of the way of the school traffic. You see these parking spots <laughs> on the side of the road? All these places you could have pulled it on the side. What's the speed limit coming through that school zone there? I noticed the school zone. That's why I stopped. So that's why as soon as I was... You, oh, you slowed down once you got in the school zone. Once I saw the, the lights, I slowed down to the school zone limit. I did. I didn't. wasn't paying attention mm -hmm. at first about the school zone. And then when I see the lights where the school zone starts, mm -hmm. I was mm -hmm. like, oh, shit. Yeah. And I stopped real quickly. Yeah. Yeah. But I did bring myself back down to the school zone limit. So that's something you do once you get to that sign. I've been there before, hey. Not when you're in the middle of the school zone. No, I, I did it before. I did it at the light. At the light. As Don't over-explain yourself, homie. You're just gonna expose yourself. <laughs> as soon as the school zone light showed up, so I was like, oh, let me let me show, let me explain something to you. Once I even observed you at the rate of speed you were coming, that's why I slowed down and stopped right there because I was coming to get you. You slowed down because not only that. I watched your speed decrease once you got in there, and then the front of your vehicle dipped down. That little, mmm, he knows he's fucked. <laughs> he's like, yeah, he got my ass. And then the front of your vehicle dipped down. Mm. Okay, <laughs> I was... 77. I was All right, so, so time out, hear me out. Yes. Hear me out. We, I'm, not, I'm not even going to get into it with you, man. Yeah. My thing is, speed limit, fine, is doubled. When yeah. you go to that school zone... I need you to just hear me out right now. I'm not going to have a debate yeah. with you. He looks we can make surprised. this short and sweet. I didn't notice it because I'm not used to driving at this time of day. Keep interrupting, man. He's trying to let you off, it sounds like, and you're just going to tell him too much information. He's going to get you in trouble. Or he's going to be like, why is this man slurring his words? What's wrong with him? We can make this short and sweet. I didn't notice it because I'm not used to driving at this time just of day. shut up, bro. So would, would that be an excuse if you... If somebody was walking there, no, no, I, sir, again, you're not listening to me, sir. All I'm trying to do is explain something to you. I can give you a verbal warning, or I can cite you for speeding in the school zone and failure to yield for the emergency vehicle. Your excuses as to why you were trying to get out of traffic, school traffic, you were way out of school traffic, which is why I hit my horn and signal and do like this to pull over to the right. What does Florida law say about emergency vehicles when they're coming behind you? License and sirens. You move over to the right. Okay? okay, you yield for emergency vehicle when those license sirens come on. If you do not know that, you know that now. Okay, that's a citation for all know, of that. Now you know, okay? Buster. I'm not trying to be that guy with you, but when you're getting pulled over, we're trying to explain something to you. The thing to do is to listen. Yeah. Okay, you're coming through that school zone speeding. You had every opportunity to pull over to every entrance, every driveway. All these parking spots on the side of the road, you always pull to the right for emergency vehicle. Brother looks hammered, I ain't even gonna lie to you. You can just tell on his face, he just has that glazed over, I don't give a fuck look. You always pull to the right for emergency vehicle. There is no excuse for that. Yes. Do you have a valid driver's license? I do, and unfortunately, I don't have it with me. Because I went of to course. try to get my friend's kids to go make sure that they get to school, and... Um, my driver's license, I can't find it. Well, that's real convenient. Watch it come back and say he don't even have a license. <laughs> probably gonna happen. He's, he's probably gonna be like, well, turns out, buddy, you ain't even got one. Or it's suspended or something. My driver's license, I can't find it. Mm -hmm. What does the Florida law state about having your driver's license only while you're operating a motor vehicle in the state of Florida? You have to have it. Yeah. So not having that, not having proof of insurance, not having registration, all those are citations. Any oh, registration? It up. Okay, but were you aware of that what Florida law states about your Florida driver's license? If you're going to operate a motor vehicle in the state of Florida? Okay, well now you do. I mean, I don't know, man. It's kind of common sense that you need your license to be driving around. But to be fair, I've left my wallet at home a couple times. I ain't even going to lie to you. But I'm also not out here wilding or drinking and driving. <laughs> I'm usually just going to Kroger or something. Well, now you do. I'm not the one to try to take money out of anybody's pocket. But I'm going to tell you right now, if you want to have a debate with me on this and that, man, I, I'm, I'm by the book. Yes. I constantly stay up to date on the laws yes. and, and, and case laws for a reason. So I can do my job to the best of my ability and not make up stuff. And I appreciate that from, from your end. Right? Have you had anything to drink, any medications, anything of that nature? I have medications yeah. at night, and then last night we had some drinks.
See, you shouldn't even say last night we had some drinks because that right there is just like borderline admitting it. You know what I mean? Like if you weren't drunk right now, you wouldn't even mention last night's drinking because that has nothing to do. You would already be sobered up. You feel me? It's like midday. <laughs> At least I think it is. I don't even know, man. But saying you got drunk last night, that's just like opening yourself up. It's like, yeah, he probably didn't stop drinking last night. He's still probably drinking. He probably got a bottle under the seat. I don't know. Y'all know what I mean, though. Like, people just kind of tell on themselves if you find the little hints in their sentences. I have medications at night, and then last night we had some drinks. And also, I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to mix your medications with your drinks. I'm pretty sure all the doctors would say not to do that, but it is what it is, ain't you, daddy? Have you had anything... Are you on the influence right now? The only reason I'm asking that because your speech is somewhat slurred. I don't think so. What do you mean you don't think so? I don't believe I could be because I we had drinks like last time I had drinks was maybe two. All right. Give yeah, me a favor two step minutes out of ago. I had drinks at two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Give me a favor to step out of here. So we're going to do this now. I literally run right here. <laughs> He was so close to home. So close, but yet so far away. Shouldn't have been drinking and driving, buddy. <laughs> I literally run right here, Carlos. Do I have to get Can you make 1025 with 0523 and also roll me routine 35? I have a driver refusing to step out of the vehicle. I just need someone to be 51 to 1198 to see it. I have many ailments and things. Can I please not do this right now? I don't think you can reschedule an arrest <laughs> for DUI, you know? Yeah, just come get me next Thursday, man. I'll be sobered up by then. Things, can I please not do this right now? I'm too busy I for this shit. Can I please not? Please? I live right there. Please. Well, man, my stepping up for me, still refusing to get out of the car. Possible signal one. Listen. You're making things a lot difficult than it needs to be right now. No, sir. No, sir. No. I've given you a lawful order. Okay. I mean, what's going to go on right now? Are you going to pull me out of the car for what? Well, he's giving you a chance to step out by yourself. <laughs> And you're being too dumb, so you're probably gonna get dragged out, dude. Plus, you say you live down the street, all your neighbors are gonna see you do this. <laughs> like, bro, why do you want this to happen? Everybody's gonna see you getting dragged. <laughs> are you gonna pull me out of the car for what? My thing is, being you've already slammered. admitted to coming through that school zone too fast, okay? Not only that, you sir, sir, too fast. I promise you that, sir. I promise you that. Hey, but but here but you here's here's as soon sir. As I the school zone, I'm like, oh crap, the school zone. Who yeah, are, yeah, a little too late. Once you're in there, okay, and like you fail to yield for my lights and signs on my vehicle, okay. I stopped with a sir. Spot where you're not no, in trouble. from the time I lit you up, my sign was on. I had my signs going on for a while, and you still failed to oh, okay. I'm asked. I've asked you two times to step out of the vehicle. I've asked you now. I'm asking you a third time. Just you get out, man. Extra, extra, please, you're not listening. I will come out. I will. Twelve eleven four. What's the ten twenty? Can you please not bring a lot of people? Listen, me? I'm asking you right now. Can you promise me not to bring Listen. a bunch of people into this? I'm asking you right now. I'm telling you right now. Yes, officer. You're saying you don't want him to bring everybody, but like if you just listen to him and get out, this would be over with. Even if you are going to jail, it's like you want to cause a bigger scene. I don't know, man. It's just get out. <laughs> people into this. I'm asking you right now. I'm telling you right now. Yes, officer. If you don't bring a lot of people, I will step out the vehicle with no problems. Let's do what, what, what did I just ask you? Man, please don't bring a lot of people over here. I've Get asked you out. Three or four times now, so now you just you just saying I've asked you three times to step out of the vehicle. Listen, I got PTSD bad, bro. And you know what? You Shut the pulling fuck on up. me is not not nice. Have I pulled on you? You you got a, your hand on a weapon? Yeah, because you're failing to comply with lawful order I've given you. Right yeah, now now they are. Now they are. They've been here. Hey, hey, listen, I'm asking, listen, stop. Listen, just stop talking. Just keep your hands right there, okay? Okay. I've asked you three times to step out of the car, and you refuse to do I it. I want to step out of the car. Will you not? But I've asked car? you three times to do it. Now we're, we're, now we're past that. Will you, you please not? No, man. <laughs> no, man. You can't do that. This could have been solved so easily. Like, even in the beginning, if you wouldn't have started talking so much, he might have let you go. But you kept talking and he, like, figured out how drunk you were. You kind of told on yourself and now you keep making it worse. Just get out. Just get out. How many times does he have to repeat it? Please? Not, no, man. Come hey, on, stop. Man. Stay in the car. What is hey, stay in the car. 
it. No, you don't want to listen. I'm not playing this game with you right now. No, I'm not playing a game with you either. Then why would... Okay, well, I'm not going to with you. Look, brother. Let and you have alcohol. I smell the older alcohol coming off your breast right now. I can't be drunk. I drank last time at 2 a.m. 2, 2 in the morning. Two minutes hey, ago. Stop reaching, man. <laughs> 20 My girl times. Me. Um, he was coming through the school zone a little bit too fast in his brakes. And when I lit him up, he, it took him forever to pull over. He wouldn't stop. His speech is slurred, so I asked him been drinking, and he said his last drink was up bound two. And I've asked him to step out of the car three times, and he really, he's refused to get out all three times. What's your name, bud? My name is Paul. Paul? Yes, sir. Let me explain something to you. You're going to step out of the car, okay? And you're going to do everything that this deputy asked you to. I asked him if he could please not bring a lot of people in more than this. It, hurt, it makes it really difficult for me, and it, it, it affects me a lot. Well, you're doing it to yourself, man. <laughs> like... So Victim mentality. I absolutely do, but can you do me one thing? Sure. Can I just go to my house and right there? We'll work on that. <laughs> can I just go to my house and take a nap real quick before I go to jail? I'm gonna go in there and make me a peanut butter jelly sandwich. Y'all can come chill if y'all want to. Can I just go to my house and right there? We'll work on that. <laughs> Step out of the car. You're so and genuine about it, too. Of this step out of the car. Like, if you do not step out of the car, I'm going to take you out of the car. Do you understand what I'm My telling you? Goodness. Get out of the car now. I'm progressing this a lot. Hey. Well, they try to be cool with you. I've tried hard. Oh my god, of course the commercial pops up right when it gets intense. Come on, man. Do you understand what I'm telling you? Goodness. Get out of the car now. I'm progressing this a lot. Hey. He's stuck by his forehead. <laughs> He's literally just wedged in there by his forehead. <laughs> this can't be real. I'm sorry. I'm going to restart it again. I'm sorry. That's hilarious. Get out of the car now. I'm progressing this a lot. Hey. Holy shit. He's eating that. Oh, he's, he's still up, dude. The taser did nothing to him. Holy shit. <laughs> Oh, shit, sorry. Stop, stop, stop. 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 Crazy. Crazy. Oh, crap. Why I think this was a little a, a, a <laughs> obsessive, to be honest. I don't think he was that much of a threat. But that's just my opinion. Stop it, man. Stop. Kind of a little bit, in my opinion, an over exaggeration. <laughs> I can't talk, but you know what I mean. Kind of a little bit of an over exaggeration, but they did give you a million tries to get out, so <laughs> they switched up in like a heartbeat. Man, I stop. Stop it, man. You stop. Dude, I stop. I stop. I can go again. I'm the Stop pulling your hand, man. Why are I being detained? 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 I didn't do anything. I didn't deserve this. I didn't deserve this. I broke your shoulder from war. Man, you're going to do yourself. You're going to Dude, you're going to do yourself. You're going to do Look, we're 77. Really? We're all EMS. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, really? Your mics I didn't are do terrible. You're anything really wrong. And you're going to sit there and do this to me? Okay. Oh my goodness. Yeah. This is crazy, man. This is crazy. Yeah! Stop it! Please! Let go of me, Thomas, please! My shoulder! Ah! I got a disability! I'm disabled! Stop it! This is us! Please stop it, my shoulder! Oh! Oh! Can you loosen it, please? Please, uh, 
I got a bad disability. I got a bad disability. I'm 80% disabled. Mm -hmm. I, I, for some reason, I just don't believe him, but you never know. I don't know, man. Mm -hmm. Please. Nah, just put damn elbow. Please. Please. Shoulder. Ah, get out my shoulder, please. I'm not gonna hurt so you. I promise so you. I fought for this country. I will not hurt you. I, I protect this country. Please let me out of these handcuffs. Let me out of these handcuffs. I'm not a flight risk. I'm not a flight risk. I promise you there's no need to do this to, to me. There's not a reason to do this to me. Let me out of here, please. Nope. It hurts too bad. Not happening. Please, thank you, please. Be quiet. You should have just listened am the I, first am time. I, am I a target to you? Did I hurt you? I didn't hurt you. I didn't do anything wrong to you. Be quiet. Relax. I don't have a reason to be treated like this, officer. I don't have a reason to be treated like this. Like, I really don't. I was friendly to you, you know? And then you draw your, your taser on me. And I did not do anything wrong to you. And then you tap on me. Can you please get me out of these hands? Can you double cuff me, please? I have a shoulder injury from the war. Can I please get double cuffed? Please. Give me one second, man. Please, pretty please. Dude, he My just said give him a second. My shoulder is on fire right now. You're injuring me further right now. You don't understand this, but you're injuring me further. Please, let me looser on these cuffs. I have a physical injury in my shoulder. I have a physical injury in my shoulder. Can you pretty, pretty please loosen these cuffs for me, please? Stand by. It's really bad. I'm a veteran. I don't know why you have so many people here. I cannot deal with this. What? You called them all here. No, I did not. All you have to do is get out of the car. Can you please loosen these cuffs? Exactly. I cannot. I have a physical injury from war. What branch of the me. service were you in? I'm the army. You sure don't carry yourself with the military man. I mean, he ain't lying. I feel like you would have a little bit more self-respect than this. <laughs> you sure don't carry yourself with the military man. A double cuff. So I'm getting ready to turn into the school. He's wide open. Just you can tell he was speeding. And when he sees me, you still hold from his car to down. So I do a U-turn to get behind him and just light him up like he's going to start right here. From the entrance to the school, he just kept going, didn't stop. I hit my air horn, I'm like, pull over, pull over, pull over. He still didn't stop. He comes right here. He still did. He just stopped right here. So I say, let him know why I'm stopping him. He's like, hey, man, you're coming through the school zone and you're, you're all over the place. Like you're going pretty fast. And I said, and you failed to pull over for me. So he was like, oh, well, I want to get out of school traffic. I was like, you had plenty of places to pull over from the school entrance to here. For real. So I said... Have you had anything to drink? And he said, uh, the last time I had a drink was like at 2 a.m. And Bullshit. I said, well, I'm spilling alcohol on your breath. Have you had any, you know, you still feel like you're drunk right now? And he's like, no, I said, step out of the vehicle. I asked him three times to step out of the car. He refused. So then he kept reaching out, called somebody. I said, hey, step out of the car. That's my fourth time. Still didn't do it. So that's why I called for backup. And then he went to kind of like putting his hand up, wasn't sure if he was going to put it in the drive or not, and just wouldn't get out. So then... He went to reach for the door handle, and I said, no, just stay in the car, because he told me to hold what I got, and he wouldn't get out. When Corporal got here, Corporal asked him to step out of the car. He opened up, and then when he went to get out, he put, he uh, went to lean back in the vehicle, put his hand back on the steering wheel again, refused to get out, and when we tried to yank him out, he pulled his weight back in, pulled away, and then that's when I pulled my taser out, and even when I tased him, I, I deployed my taser twice, both cartridges, he still went fighting with us. And got on the ground, he Hard still headed. kept pulling away. I figured he was going to stop right there. But just based off of how he was coming through there and weaving, nah. that's the only reason I stopped him. And he just he didn't stop. Like I said, the only thing that's jacked up is just my fingers are just cut up pretty bad from the, from the pavement from when he was went down with him and his weight came down and oh just tugged his arm and stuff. So. Bro's over there moaning, ain't he? And oh just tugged his arm and stuff. So. <laughs> It's a kick, it's a kick, it's a kick. It hurts, it hurts, it hurts. You good? Hmm? Good? Yeah, I'm good. My hand went numb for a little bit. I'm not sure why. I don't know if my, it was bad. Or... my bad. My <laughs> bad. It was a wire that caught you though, right? Okay. Right, right, right. Laid across my arm. Damn, done tased his homie. <laughs> that friendly fire, cuz. Hmm? You okay? Yeah, I'm good. Did you scrape it? 
You yeah, okay, baby? Great. Let me check it Adrenaline's out. Still going. Huh? Adrenaline's still going. Yeah. Shaking a little bit. <laughs> Paul was charged with DUI and resisting. He is innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. That boy guilty as hell. I feel like this situation could have been like easily resolved, but you know how it is. These hard headed motherfuckers out here just don't know when to quit. Let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. But other than that, if y'all enjoyed these videos, give it a like, share it with y'all's homies and click over here for more videos. But other than that, I guess I'll see y'all later. Peace.